deny that there is a force. Okay, you know? I like that. I am, we believe in gravity, I, do I, we? I am not one of these people who think that 95% of the universe is empty. <laughs> right. Okay, some people, you will be shocked, John, what you know, some people. And there's a lot of very intelligent people that think that it's just empty out there, you know, and I'm going, right. well, I don't know, maybe they just can't feel anything, you know. But the, what I'm wondering, but, this is uh, getting a little intimate, maybe you're going to shut my mouth and say, Sissy, you know what, I'm going to get out of this interview. No, we, I mean, we've you, talked you, about you, politics now, we talk about religion, about you know, religion. then we'll go on to sex, you know. You know, we're going to sex, okay, okay, what turns you on, what turns you off, I shouldn't say that. No, you know what, when I, you get to read this book, I'm, I'm so, I'm, the problem is that this is me, John, I can be, you know, a little too loose, and some people like me, some people hate me, but I can only be myself. When I was reading the book, I made tons of notes, I love what you said about Geraldine Page, one of my favorite actresses, what mm. you said that you described that she was like a... Uh, a great clown and a great character Yeah, Jerry actress. was a great... I, was, I mean, I'm lucky. I grew up in a, at a certain oh, time, man. and I grew up in a certain world, you know, and, and I'm one of the last people that's alive that was really there. part of that, you right. know. Right. Which, and and I, part of the reason I came back to New York was because I thought that I had a responsibility to share uh, some of my knowledge in, in that sense. And, mm -hmm. and uh, um, Angelica was here, Angelica Torn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's a sweet girl. She's a good very actress. Gifted. Yeah, she's yeah, a she very is, gifted, yeah. incredible gifted actress. You know, and and old Jerry was like uh, the the unusual thing about Jerry is that she was a great actress, and I mean she had her problems, but she was a person, you know, and she was just a real person, mm -hmm. and a, a lot of times people are not like that. You know, they get they have these agendas, and she didn't have that kind of agenda. What, what kind of actors, this is a very stupid question, but what the hell? What kind of actors do you like? I mean, do you go often to the theater when you watch movies? What kind of actors provoke you, entice you, makes you happy? I guess ones that I like, the ones that I think are good or that move me or that right. I think are human. I mean, right. there's a lot of, a lot of, I think there are a lot of, there's a lot of good actors. I don't know that there's a lot of actors that I would say are real. Right. Uh, meaning, meaning that that a lot of what passes for real nowadays is what I would call natural behavior. Right. Um, oh, and so and cool. I think that when it gets real, there is sometimes you can't, you don't know exactly what the person is doing, but they are, it's like they're inhabited, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can tell that they're thinking something, or you know what it is without them doing anything. Right. And you, you're, you're involved in what's happening to them. Um, and you know, so, and I think that there are you know quite a few actors in a lot of different countries and all over the world. All over you the know? world, yes. You know, a lot of whom are not necessarily the most famous or right. the most well known. Or like you know, talent some. gives you the what? The fame gives you the recognition, but it doesn't give you the talent. Something, my father says something like that that it well, gives you. I you mean, know, it's in the work, like you said. It's is, all fame, about the work. Fame is one thing. And fame, fame, there are some people that what they want is to be famous, you know, and then there are other people who maybe they're famous, but that's not what they want. What they, what they wanted is, is to express themselves, to do their work, and that led them, they gained a position in which they become these famous people. Right. But that's an incidental part, which a lot of them don't necessarily like. I have so many questions in my head running here so damn fast and I'm like, oh God, I gotta ask him. I gotta ask him. Let me see. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can <laughs> you can you tell that I'm loaded? Huh? And I'm not high. Yeah. And I don't do any drugs. We talked about that right in the beginning. <laughs> right. Okay. Um I wanna ask you, how do you do I know, I read all about you. I read I did my homework and like I said, this is a book that you just can keep reading over and over and over. I wanted to ask you who is the person that you admire the most in your life? You come from a very distinguished acting family. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm kind of curious, I want to get a little intimate and go with the x-ray right inside of you. I well, want to hear the answer. And admire is one thing and love is another. Right. Um, I, I think that someone who I loved and admired uh, was my godfather, who, who was Franco Tone, who was an actor, a wonderful actor. Um, but also a wonderful man, and he was my, Francho was my idea of what a man should be, 
you know, he drank, he smoked, uh, he had a lot of relationships with women. Oh, God. Uh, he, oh, boy. He, he oh, hunted. Boy. He, was, he was just, and Not, he was very educated, um, very cultivated. But he lived a full life. Yes. Yeah, he, he, he lived his life, you know. You know, obviously, I, I, I loved my father, and, and he taught me a lot, but, but I, I don't know that I liked him as a man. You know, he was... He but you said something very interesting in the book that I, I took note of that. I can show you my notes. Mm -hmm. You said that I, he was a better father as a teacher. He was something like... Well, he yeah. was alive in his work much right. more than he was in, in, in his private life. Right. You know, in a way, he taught people, and he, it was something that he said, you right. know, that he was teaching people to express feelings that they couldn't express in real life. And I wish that he had studied with himself. <laughs> Interesting. <You know? laughs> in what ways you are similar, in what ways you are different from each other? Huh, that's a good question. I'll make you think, though, John. Well, I probably battled with some of the things I didn't like in him that I have in myself. Uh, so I, I think I know some of that very well. Uh, but I think some of my ability to make contact and just to be simple and human and try to relate to people in, in, a, in, a, in a very real what, way. What about the ability to see the problem and how to fix it? I can do that, yes. You can do that. Yeah, but I do it in a different way. I think I... It's not that he wasn't intuitive, but, but my, my, the intuitive part of me is a very important part of my, my work. And it's something that I try to teach someone. I, I think if in my teaching, uh, I don't do, you know, he had a very organized method Systematic. of work. And uh -huh. it was, you, you know, you learned, and it was very specific, very powerful. But I thought that it ha had its limitations. And I, I didn't think that it really dealt a lot with imagination. In his work at the actor's studio, yes, he would deal with it, but not in the teaching in the private classes. And, uh, you know, I think that I teach uh, a consciously intuitive process, mm. meaning that it's not about an A, B, C, D, and I'm, I don't want the actor thinking like an actor, like what exercise am I using or what's my objective or what's my this, what's my that. I want the actor to be deeply involved in what the character is living through and all the choices that you make come out of your capacity to involve yourself. And to me, all acting technique depends on how much imagination you have and whether you can focus it, which right. is a lot of people have imagination, but they can't necessarily focus it on something in particular that is in the character's world hmm. or painters or anybody, architects, anyone. You know, I mean, an architect walks down to a river and he sees a bridge. Right. You know, someone else walks down to the river and they, you know, Oh, I'm going to build a bridge, you know, and if, you know, right, right, right. I you know, and if you. you know, it's not doesn't work that way, right? You know, which is part of what what talent is, and and I work with that. I work with these these realities that my father and Stanislavski and the generation before me thought were were invisible, almost missed. They knew about it, but it were they were mystical realities, and to me, I think I've dis demystified that. Right. I like that word, dismystifying, because we tend to... It's a book that you can just keep reading. I do a lot of reading, Mr. Strasberg. I do, my, I do my homework. I like to read, and I love history as well. Have you read that book, The World of Sofia? El Mundo de Sofia? I don't no. know what you're missing. No. It's the history of philosophy. It's a beautiful book. You've got to read book? it. I do not remember the writer, but I know that, because I read the book several times, it's a really basic book, but it's beautiful. Mm. It's, it, 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 a friendship between a girl and her grandfather, and he explains the philosophy world to her. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful book. And I mm -hmm. said, oh, he might know. I want to ask you about the film, My Week with Marilyn. I'm kind of curious. Have you seen it? No. You're not going to see it? Maybe when it comes on television. <laughs> oh, no. I went to see it. You see, we got five minutes to I go. I can't I believe it. Yeah. How much? How I long do we have? Be, I got a phone call uh, two days ago from someone from the Los Angeles Times. They wanted to ask me about it, too. And I don't know. It's a, I mean, I lived it. You know, what, what do I want to go to see a movie about? Oh, you know? John, come on. I mean, we I'm got to open our I'm minds. Only, I, I, the chances are I'm going to be disappointed because... Because nothing is more fantastic than reality. 
Right. And these people are only going to try to imagine what they think the reality is. I actually lived it. But so, you're not curious. Yeah. No. You. Don't, uh, no. John, no, now I'm, I'm very upset. I'm now not we're going to fight you and me just at the end of the show. I'm not a big fan of films that, that are kind of biographical or that pretend to be biographical. I, I like the film. A, I've seen I'm a Karen not, Branagh, uh, Lane I'm Lawrence not, Olivier. He got a beautiful line where he says, remember, kid? I'm sure... When it comes to women? Kenneth Branagh is a guy who I respect enormously. Ah, I, 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 and so I'm glad, I'm glad he did it. Such you know, but Mich anybody who probably knew Laurence Olivier would say, well, yeah, he did okay. You know, yeah. but Laurence Olivier was probably more than that. You yeah, know? but you met the real deal with Marilyn I think even Monroe. Kenneth Branagh would say that. You know? Right. So, so. But he's great. And so is the girl, John Michelle Williams. Uh, to me, she did. Uh, you I'm, met the real deal, you I'm know? I'm very happy, but I knew the real thing, oh. you know? You, so you see, you and, see, now you're getting, I can't believe it. I wanted to talk about the film. I went to see it last night. I took my notes. Yeah. Huh? And you said, that you, you gotta watch it. I'm, I mean, you gotta do it for the sake of our friendship. No, people people want me to watch it because they want me to give it a stamp of approval or something like that. Well, I, I was so. hoping, you see how naive yeah. I am? Yeah, I was yeah. hoping that you and me we can chat because there's a, there's a moment there. No, not a moment. There's a lot of the film. If they want a stamp of approval from me, they're gonna have to pay me an awful lot of money. Oh, man, that sounds a little better, right? No, because she was the, your yeah. mom and Marilyn Monroe, when she came to the set... Yeah, all the stuff about my mother drives me nuts. It drives yeah. you crazy. Yeah, I can imagine. They, everyone's picked up on the evil witch, you know. And, no, and, so, you know, and what they showed is a woman who cared deeply about this woman, Marilyn Monroe. Well, she did. And she did. Like, she she blamed herself for Marilyn's death. Yeah. Mm. You have... Do we... We're done. I wanted to ask you, number one, are you happy with this interview? Yes, very, yeah. You don't regret it? No, not at all. Is this what you expected? I don't know what I expected. You didn't think about it? Uh, no, once I agreed to it, I, I, I said, you know, I'm going to go and have a good time and I'll see. Good. And she said, you you know, said to yourself, she's not crazy. She, huh? I can deal with her. Uh, okay. You're not crazy. You got no, a lot right? of energy, and it functions a certain way, which some people like, and probably some people don't. You know. Right. But, yeah. You're very honest and yeah. tough, but I love that about you. I don't you. know that I'm tough. I, I Are just, you tough, Mr. Stroud? Honestly. It depends what you think of as tough. You know. Oh, you make me think hard. You know. I think you're tough, you but know. I think it's 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 your approach. I, I think I I think I I do believe that. Uh, Honesty is the best policy. <laughs> well, because I, I was very confused when I was young, and right. you know, and I so so that, and I'm sure that therefore, if I tend to be truthful, people will be a little scared of it, and yeah. I don't mind that. It's a good, and, it's and a good defense. You know, a good better, defense. Then they don't want to talk to me. Leave me alone. I got. I'll live my life. And, but let me you know, ask you: Do you think the actors are afraid of you? Sometimes now, when they don't know me. Okay, that's a good answer. Because I because you. I'm now you know I have a certain kind of reputation so that people think oh my God you know. But I, I and, you uh, know to be honest with you I was like I you said know, and and if they're if they're really afraid of me I don't think they're afraid of me I think they're afraid of what I want them to be able to do, which is to just be able for them to be spontaneous and alive. If that's terrifying, then they're going to be scared of me. That's but good. they're not really scared of me. They're scared of them.